Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the 24-hour challenge with me, Simulation for the Nation. We are now at 96 hours, so we're going to go from 96 through to 120. Now, before we go too much further, I must admit a uh, slight confession. Uh, when we finished recording the last episode, I forgot to press pause or to exit the game, so the time span on a little bit. And we got, before I realized, it was like 10 p.m. the following day. So what I've done is skip us through to 8 a.m. for a good start. Uh, and we're going to take advantage of this. It's beautiful daylight. Uh, we've got a lot to do today. We need to finish off the plowing. We uh, we didn't get that all finished off in the last day. Uh, but we're not going to start with that. We're going to do a bit of soil sampling really today. And I want to see how we get on. I want to get our fields ready to go. Uh, so I think that's going to be important for us to do. So what we shall do is start by just cracking on with some of these soil samples around the land that we have here. Uh, so we can have a better idea of where we stand. And we will be able to take this information forward with us and use it to our best intentions. That field of sandwich bills is now ready to go, which is awesome. So we will be able to take that away with us and get that fully tested or sold, sorry, uh, and make a little bit of money. There's also some lettuce that's ready to go too. So you better believe we're going to be taking everything. Uh, so that's going to be a nice little boost for us, with a little bit more money. Incredibly, the grass that we're currently driving on is ready to harvest again. We're not going to be bailing that because that's just not right. Uh, it's middle of January. It's frosty. We shouldn't be bailing that, so we're not going to. But what we will do is, like I say, we'll finish all this up. We'll get that plowing done. We can even start to get that land ready to go for our spring drilling. We've got a big cultivator we can stick onto the masty and we can fly across that land and get it all ready to go and look in ship shape, which should be good. Because otherwise... January is always a little bit of a quiet month anyway, so we'll just have to do what we can really to keep ourselves going here. Uh, but yeah, we want to be in a position that everything else is taken care of there and looking good by the time the spring rolls around. We will try and get nearly cut grass off of here. And I'm hoping, but with that being said, we can again uh, keep a lot of it for our own usage here. Clearly at the moment we have to make a lot more hay than anything else because we can't use TMR. We don't have a feeder wagon and uh, we don't have, uh, we can't still start to use silage directly at the moment. So we do need a lot more hay than we do anything else. We'll probably make some just flat out grass bales as well just to keep the cattle going. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting time, that's for sure. Uh, just able to fly around. I want to get this done as quickly as possible so we can then return this because of course we are leasing it. Which is always going to be an uh, additional cost that we can, if we can avoid. I am always happy to do. And that one done. Doesn't take too long to rifle through all of this, that's for sure. Uh, let's try and do a bit more about there. Lovely stuff. Excellent. So we've got about half that field left to plow over. Uh, it shouldn't take us too long to do, I don't think. Uh, but yeah. Nice to get the bulk of our arable land plowed over now, so we can just not worry about it again, just leave it be. Uh, and then we can, uh, we'll look to get ourselves ready to go for drilling. I don't think we have any seeds, so we'll have to pick up a little bit of seed where we can. Uh, once we have that all set up and ready, then we'll be, you know, we'll be in a lot better place. I think we'll be able to really uh, get ourselves a bit of direction into what we're doing for the next year. Uh, I'm toying with the idea as well, just to keep myself going there. I've seen if there's any contracts that we can take nearby. I don't want to... My mind was really set up that this would be a little bit more of a focus on just using this field and this the challenges that come with this uh, place play area. But I just don't know if maybe if we look at the, the two neighbouring fields that we want to build out to and potentially buy one day, if we look at taking on any contracts associated with them. That might be a good idea, but we'll have to see. Uh, because, yeah, otherwise, sometimes there's just not too much work to do here. If we can fill it out with a bit of variation, then I'm all for it. Uh, let's get this bit done next. Greenhouse has produced another couple of crates of lettuce. I imagine that's going to want to fill them up there, actually. Let's have a bit of a look. Uh, it's, it's running on a few things here. Maybe we could do with a little bit of a top-up. We'll see. Uh, what we're going to do now is just continue to zip around. We'll get all of these fields done and dusted on the test in front. This one's not going to take too long at all. We'll get them all set, ready to go, and then we can move on with a bit more plowing.
it, and so that is all we can do at the moment because as, until this field is plowed over, it doesn't technically count as a field, so uh, the system won't recognize it. So, what we think we're going to do, I'm going to leave most of that plow until it gets dark again, and then we can't really do much else there. Uh, so, I think what we'll do is go and sell some bits and pieces, sell some silage off, uh, and see how we get on. Hopefully, it's not going to take quite so long to drive over there this time around, but we shall see anyway. Uh, and then, yeah, let's see how we get on. So, for right now, we need to come into here. I want to go into here, and we are going to press Y. Uh, Okay, so they're gone. Uh, but yeah, let's just go and see how we get on here. We're selling these up. Yeah, let's go drop this off. I might also just drop this loader for now. Um, just because I can. I enough grand for those blouses. Is that ever a lot of money? I've also had a bit of an idea as well that we might look into for now is to get rid of our cultivator that we don't really need uh and buying actually some rollers to see if we can oh, also let's check out the same thing for sale Oof. nothing that we need or want but that would have been pretty darn nice whatever uh yes so we don't need any of those things sadly but we will go and we'll do that because i want to get those sold off anyway and then we can, uh, we do need rollers, there's a lot of rocks in those fields, and the small ones are just going to roll in and we'll be fine. Uh, and that's going to be the easy way to go about those, but the larger ones, well, we'll cross that bridge from what we have in there. But we also do some grass rollers as well, just so we can actually, uh, reset this grass and try and save money on, uh, fertilizer. Because what I'd love to do would be to roll that all down and then also look at getting in some kind of uh, slurry tanker, which we now have enabled in game. And it would be, I mean, we've got all these different options here, but I'd probably look to use one of these guys. Not too much money either, actually, so certainly affordable. Uh, but anyway, let's see how we get on with this. Ooh, that's a lot more speed than I was anticipating. Eesh, not really. So, we are going to go the long way down again. We're going to head all the way down to next to field 17 and 29, really, to the sell point down there. It's going to take us a bit of a time, a bit of a trek. But, uh, you know, we need to get the best price that we can for these. So, that is where we shall head. Uh, beacon's on. It's snowing again. What else are we going to do, really? Uh, like I say, plowing can wait until it's dark and it's boring at night where there's not much else we can do. And we'll just fly through that as quickly as possible. Uh... And here's me thinking I got nice and wide against that. One thing I'd love to change on these gates. So it's a great gate pack there, but the gates just don't swing quite wide enough in some places. They stay at about 90 degrees. So, I mean, ultimately, it'll be attack them a bit better when you're driving, but that's fine. We're through. Excellent stuff. The uh, realistic mods that we're using for the, the grip really do make a heck of a difference there. It's very, very noticeable indeed. Um, now, if we go down to the bottom of field 7 and that way, we have one big, long, slow hill to, to try and get up there and then a second one. So we might just go the slightly longer way around. Again, crashing into gate posts, but it's going to be a little bit flatter. So my, in theory, yes, the distance is longer, but the uh, terrain would be that bit better. We'll try it, at least. We've got about the same number of bales on here as we did last time there, and we ground to a halt in places. Let's see. Love the gearbox in this tractor.
some folks we managed to get about nine grand again for that load which is great helps our finances out no end uh before we crash into that pillar let's just stop that uh yeah also managed to make it a little bit quicker there as well didn't have quite so many issues on the hill still ground us down to two miles an hour but we made it up nonetheless which is always what you want to see uh so we're just gonna stick this trailer for here now i can't remember actually i have to have a quick look in to see the condition of our cattle uh they've got grass they could do a small hay and this lot need everything so we need to do a bit of feeding up there which i think is as good a time as any to do it up around here you back up So let's start. There's a grass bale in here. Uh, no, let's start with a bale of hay. They, they both need hay. One needs grass more than the other one. So we only have that one grass bale left. So we have to be a little bit careful with how we use that. Uh, into there. Let's just see which one this is out of the two as we drop this down. I think this might be the one that needs a bit of everything. Excellent. Okay, good. So the grass can go into there as well. I think we're going to have to end up buying some more grass bales there. Uh, it is something... I don't know how. I wish I could find out how to change the farm sim scripts just to allow you to actually feed cattle silage, which seems a bit weird. That's not a thing that we can do. Uh, but that's where we're at. It would be great if we could, like I say. Oh, Lord, what's up in there? There you go. Yeah, that's, that would be awesome if we could learn how to do that one. But um, at the moment, as it is, I don't. So uh, we'll have to see. Because, yeah, otherwise this side hasn't really got much of a purpose with us. Uh, so we need to figure that out. And again, I'm, I've I mentioned repetitively, I don't want to just make a whole other side to sell it all. I do actually want to use it. Okay, this can go to here. That'll keep them going for a little bit longer. Great, but better. We'll put one more bale of hay into each, I think. Plenty of muck there as well. We might stick the muck grab on now, actually, whilst we're here. We'll get a few errands done in terms of filling a few things up and filling up the, uh, the pens and the gardens as well. So we'll do that whilst we're here, I think. I'll keep us going for a little bit of time. We're nearly a quarter of the way through the day already, so still lots to get cracking along with.
All right, and welcome back. You join us as we've just leased two grass rollers here. We're going to see if we could just tidy up all of our grassland. And also, it's like, it will, uh, my understanding is correctly, we'll strip it down to its first stage and also refertilize it as well. But I think it's needed to be done. Uh, we can hopefully, in theory, save ourselves some money on fertilizer inputs here, which would be great. And uh, we'll see how we go. But that's going to be the plan. Greenhouse is all up and running again, as we've seen there. We've uh, got the water back carted in. And we're all looking good. We're just going to crack on with this for a few hours until it gets dark. And then we'll get that plowing wrapped up as well. And then after that, well, it's on to uh, get the that field rolled or at least harrowed down for now. We'll see what the stones really do look like in the end. But yeah, that will be the plan going forward. We're just going to take our time with this. You can see it's already wanted, wanted to start working there. Press escape again. Uh, so you will will when we get to the field there we've got the two that'll be quick enough we can just plow along and crack along at six meters it should be more than uh, sufficient like i said not the biggest fields in the world so it should get us through uh which would be nice i wonder we should have received back by now our soil sample as well I haven't actually checked so we'll have to have a look into that one so yeah we'll just take our time and cruise on over and then yeah we'll have these all set up we'll be able to get ourselves into the field there get these done pretty quickly and then we move on but we are now flying through here we're uh we're looking at now eight hours in making a third of the way through making some great progress so we shall keep on plugging them and we'll come back to you with a bit more of an update very shortly as we fly through these fields get them ready for the next year's silage So then update really uh it's not doing one of the things i thought it would do whereby it might strip down the grass but it is removing all of the dead clumps of grass that were cut down and missed by the rake so that's still good news i want that all tightened up so we will rumble through the night i think what we're going to do is it's starting a little bit dark though we may well just leave this until it's getting into daylight tomorrow knock those lights off and then we will get on with the plowing i think so that's where we will push ahead and that's where we can make the best uh, best use of our time this evening, I would say. So we're going to crack on with that and we'll see how we get on.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming up to the half hour mark, 8 p.m. in the evening here. Plenty of work left to do. We're cracking along now. Not much of the plowing left, though. Uh, we'll get this headland all wrapped up very soon, I would imagine. Uh, and then, yeah, we're looking pretty good, actually. So we'll just keep pushing through the evening. And then hopefully by sunrise there, we'll be in a much better place. So uh, otherwise, not much else is going on here. We'll leave the roll until it gets a bit lighter. And hopefully we'll have some other projects to sell as well. But for right now, all we can do is keep on plowing. All right, folks. Well, we are currently at 10 p.m. at night here now. We've got another 10 hours left to go until we are done with today's challenge. Uh, so we've got the cultivator on the back. The plowing is done. We have finished, which is great news. That's fantastic. So what we're going to do is rally through some of this, uh, the ground that we plowed with our cultivator. Then we're going to roll up because we want to get rid of those stones. Uh, and then we'll be in a very good position to get some drilling done actually when the time comes. So that's going to be good. A uh, nice large cultivator as well. This is at 8 meters. This is one of the cheapest cultivators you can get, actually. So that's good. Uh, now, we don't have the right roller because that roller is for grass fields. Um, and we'll see what kind of job that's doing in the daylight, if it's worth carrying on with it or not. But we'll just keep booking through with a little bit more field work here through the evening. And by the time we finish this, hopefully, we'll have some... Uh, we've got three pallets of lettuce ready to go, so hopefully we'll get a couple more by uh, morning. And then we'll be looking really, really good. Um, very happy with the progress we're making. Down that goes. Uh, we are going to send it here. Perfect. So yeah, it shouldn't take us too long to get through this. Like I say, it's going a lot faster there and a lot, a lot wider working with, so that's handy. And then just a few small stones to roll in, and we are good for drilling, which is really cool. Uh, looking forward to getting our first crops drilled in the ground. We'll be able to make some great progress. So we're going to keep pushing through here, as we always do. We'll fly through this work. Like I say, only a few more hours left to go. Time will fly by. in the morning to have six hours left in game we just said that plow miss but never mind uh so i think what we're going to look into doing we'll just have to see what we look like from a production point for our uh, garden and then i do believe we need to think about a little bit of slurry we'll get some of our grass uh fertilized here because some of our ground is not in the best of states uh so we'll have a quick look at that as well uh, once we just get this back into the yard nice and quick job though to get that done with the, the cultivator behind me here I think it's like eight or nine meters wide so speeds through it which is what you want to see 
spent a lot of time doing field work uh, or cultivation work recently so it's always nice to be able to get that done a little bit faster uh, so let's get this drop down here again there you go finally a bit of dirt on the paintwork there so it actually looks like it's being used which is always good uh, and whilst we're here let's have a look see now first of all if we come on to if we come on to our environmental scores and look at our uh, precision farming uh, this field we didn't actually get to finish we need to get that uh, the soil sampler back at some point because we're still plowing that one pH level there is not great uh, nitrogen level is through the floor so that's uh, clearly something that we can look into look at our cattle we do have slurry in which to do it with as well so that's really good news uh, from a overall productivity level as well they're not doing too badly for the feed they're looking pretty good what i think we'll end up doing at some point as well is selling some of these silage bills to buy some regular grass and hay because we don't we can't afford a um to pick up a wagon at the moment we've got plenty of hay so maybe just some uh, grass bales but yeah that is something that we should be thinking about uh stars are still out there but we're cracking on through the evening anything left down here no okay good have uh, they got everything they need though looking good for water and seeds yes fantastic so what we'll do we will go and lease ourselves a fertilizer a, a, a slurry tanker i think we can get up with a bit of that work uh, make that morning pilgrimage down to the store we've done this quite a few times now uh but let's have a look what tanks we have at our disposal There you go, right in front of me, Sim. Oh, well, I think it's got to be high spec, really. Uh, just make sure there's nothing ludicrously cheap here to buy. I don't need any of that. No, I do not. Uh, okay, slurry tanker. All the way along. Uh, don't really need one with a boom on there. Seems a bit unnecessary. Splash plate will be fine for these purposes. I mean, do I want to keep it in the red? I think so. I think that'll do. Uh, we don't need a fill arm. Get some mud flaps on there. A beacon light, sure. Why not? Excellent. Uh, lease for a thousand pound. That'll do us. Got a good couple of loads to get picked up here anyway, so that will be more than adequate. And saves us having to spend any more money on fertilizer unnecessarily. Uh, with the grass rollers, we'll see. I think the main thing they're going to be able to do is just clear things up a little bit, tidy up some of the ground. Uh, not much more than that, to be honest there. But I'm fine with that because we left a few bits of grass in there anyway. So we'll get those all done in daylight uh, and then we'll be good. I might look at buying the equivalent version of those rollers for uh, for, um, for the seed beds. Um, and actually just seed it because that might be a really nice thing to have. Increase that yield just a little bit there and they're very, very cheap. So... Uh, that could be a good way for us to go, but we'll have to see. Um, incredible that the store is going to be open here at 2.35 in the morning, but you love to see it. Yeah, after that really, not too much that we can do right now. We've kind of got all the big work done, which is good. Uh, we'll obviously wait to see how we progress into we're in February now and see how we progress into the spring uh, of March there but well, yeah it's all uh, it's all interesting we'll hopefully be ready to drill by uh, March which would be great oh, that's that okay wonderful stuff And away we go. So as always, do let me know down below in the comments if there's anything that you'd like to see us do during this challenge. I think what we're going to be doing is putting this every other week because there is quite a lot of work that has to be done to prepare for this and a lot of time commitments to, to complete the recording. Uh, so to space out over two weeks is a little easier. Uh, so yeah, we will continue with it. And then every the alternate week to when this is on, we'll put another episode of the Tenant Farmer up there, I think. That should be a good plan. 
Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think we should do next with this series and how far we should go with it. I think at least going through a full calendar year would be uh, would be pretty cool. Uh, just to see how we uh, how we progress through that. And also, what we need to figure out now is which of these two sheds has the most slurry in, which one we need to hit first. Uh, but yeah, the slurry on the, the nitrogen levels on these fields are frankly terrible. Really, really not good. Through we go. All right, so let's see. We'll start with this one over here, shall we? Pump is set to fill. What I'll likely have to do is get out, get back in, start filling. Wonderful stuff. All right. So we are going ahead. Why do we want to go first? Which fields are the worst? I mean, they're all absolutely terrible. Um, so. Let's just start actually on these, uh, on these three fields up here, I think. That seems to make sense. Or in fact, what we can do is just start on this one and then work our way up. We've got more letters there as well. Awesome. And then let's just uh, set the, change the pump around. It's on fill. We want to go into empty. There you go. And we're off to the races. Perfect stuff. It's going to take a few applications of just slurry alone to, to really get this back up to where it should be. But we're going away from the deep red orange into the yellow. So that's better. Uh, so we're going to add a lot of uh, improvements to our yield. And so yeah, if we can get through all of the this field, the next field up, and uh, start to get into the arable fields as well, then that'd be great. But we'll have to see how far this one load goes. Uh, we might not get quite so much done. But whatever we can use the story for means obviously a lot less uh, fertilizer uh, costs. So I will take it. But we'll keep pushing through. We're currently at 3.15 in the morning. We've got just under five hours left to go here. So we're flying along. <laughs>
All right, so we have now got just less than two hours to go. We have finished two fields of slurry and we are down to like the, there's two loads left in the other shed now. So we've made some good progress. It won't, uh, maybe it'll cover that field that we're in. It might not though. It's using quite a lot, but you can see we are about at sunrise. Uh, beautiful looking morning. So fast. That is good. But yeah, we've been quite productive today, I would say. We've got quite a lot achieved. A lot of uh, jobs that have been waiting to be finished and just get over the hill with, really. So that's fantastic to see. Uh, so we're going to start this like 17,000 liters in here, if memory serves. That's a, a, not quite two full loads, but not far off. Uh, we'll come back to that next one. And then, yeah, we are all good. Uh, fields will be in a much better shape for after this as well. They'll probably need at least one more application uh, because this only gets them about. 35% of the, uh, the nitrogen target, but better than not having any at all. So that is something I will definitely take. And uh, now I don't think we got quite fully around here. So let's just go up this way. No, we didn't. Yeah, feels look a lot better anyway when we're in an orange color rather than all uh, flat red. So that's good. Uh, but yeah. We will be able to finish this all up. Uh, we'll have a look to see what's to be sold. We always like to sell things off at the beginning of every morning uh, or every new challenge day. So we'll see what there is to sell. Uh, I know we're probably going to be looking at about half a dozen crates of lettuce. That's always a good start. So we'll take that. Uh, better than a poke in the eye. And uh, yeah, we can see uh, how we can branch out from there. Right now, though, what we're going to do is just kind of well enjoy, soak in the, the sunrise. Uh, for the next uh, two hours here, we'll just keep flying through. Should be great. Now, of course, these fields will still need to be rolled at least, I think, to get rid of all these uh, clumps of grass everywhere. That's fine. We can roll over the top of the slurry. That's no problem. Uh, that will get this field looking in tip-top shape. Yeah, don't think, like I say, we're not going to get full a full field with uh, this with these two tanks. I think uh, we'll have a little bit left. But uh, yeah, it's done as well. We've got through quite a whack there already. So let's just try and square this up. And as you can see, everything looks better for it. And daylight is pretty much upon us as the tanker runs out. We are... Look at this. I love this time of day on this map. It's fantastic. It really does look good. Uh, so we've got about an hour left to go. So what we'll probably do is just fill this tanker up. We might not get out there and do anything with it just yet. Uh, but we will see. Farm's looking good. Things are growing. Grass is looking good. We need to do something around that shed there. It's looking a little bit better for itself. Uh, but yeah, I know what we'll do is have a bit of a look around, recap everything, make sure everything else is looking all right. No further additions that we need to make or anything like that. I uh, had a bit of a plan as to what we'll do for harvest this year as well, whilst I was spreading the story there. So that could work out very interestingly indeed. Uh, stop there. Okay, so we've got about two thirds of the tank there. That'll be good. And again, don't quite think it'll get everything done, but like I say, it's it's uh no maybe getting like seventy five percent of that field done all in. But as you can see, we're making the good uh, inroads there anyway. Uh, we'll see how much slurry we build up over the next few days. We've got some muck there as well that we can use. Obviously, that's not all going to go into the uh, the garden over here. We'll have to maybe release a, a spreader at some point as well. We do, however. We have one more box to take. Let's just shuffle this out. Perfect. So that is going to be four for us to take over there, which is great. Uh, let's just double check to see what we like for milk and everything else. It should be good, but it never hurts to check. And then cattle don't necessarily need any feeding right now. They're looking okay. Milk got about 4,000 litres, so it's not really worth doing anything with there. Cattle are healthy. These guys probably want a little bit more hay, actually. Uh, so we may be looking at doing that now as well. And that'll be a good way to wrap it all up. Uh, it's going to be... It's going to be interesting to see how the rest of the year pans out. We haven't actually taken any contracts on today. And to be honest, the two that are here, we wouldn't really be able to take anyway. Not with the machinery that we have. Um, and that's always the aim of mine is to just continue to use the, the equipment that we do have. Uh, we'll come back to these little rollers. Yeah, quite a whack of grass. See, that's a, 
The one thing that the Seasons and Farm Sim doesn't do here, like we used to have on the, the modded version of 19, is regulate growth of uh, grass. Uh, we shouldn't be having anywhere near this amount when we're in February, but there you are. Um, I wonder if I can... See no reason why I can't just spike a bale with this. Put that bale of hay in. And yeah, at the moment we just have no need for that, all that silage. So what we may well look to do is just uh, sell that off and buy in more buy grass bales because so we can actually use that for the time being. Um, hopefully soon we'll be able to afford a mixer, and where, at which point then the silage becomes more appropriate, uh, and we can actually start to use that. Then we have to get things like mineral feed in, etc. But yeah, for right now, it's just not quite there. Yeah, looking better. Stick one in the other side as well. And that is a nice and easy feed up for the morning they can't really complain about that lovely old job uh okay so there. oh perfect okay uh so they are looking better they're looking really good well, all right, and that is looking pretty handy as well. Uh, let's double check there again. Oh, bingo. Awesome stuff. So, ultimately, like I say, what we'll be doing in the next episode there is uh, finishing off a bit of story spreading, uh, selling these guys off, and then hopefully selling a few bales off to buy a few different bales in. Uh, unless, of course, I ever see that we get a, a diet feeder on the for sale category, uh, in which case we'll jump and buy one of those as well. But right now we don't, so we can't really do anything with that. But we'll always keep an eye on it and just have a look see. Uh, and then, yeah, we will hopefully be able to really jump onto that one and make some improvements. Uh, across the farm, though, so far, I think it's been a very productive 24 hours. We've been able to achieve quite a bit, finish up the, the heavy slog of the plowing. Those two fields there uh, are, yeah, with a four for a plow, they do take quite a whack of time. So I'm pleased to have got that done and also start to get some of the nutritional uh, information and the nitrogen levels for the field kind of rebalanced again, so... Good progress being made there. It's step by step, really. Can't ask for much more when you're doing, uh, when you're creating a full farm like this. So you can only really do it in, in little pieces at a time. And I think we've achieved that very, very well. Uh, if you do ever have any questions around uh, what we're doing here or any suggestions on how we can improve our practices, let me know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well. I have been Simulation for the Nation, and we are eight minutes ahead of schedule and that is how i like to see it so we're going to leave it here thank you very much for watching as always i do hope you have enjoyed we'll see you next time for another episode until then do stay safe enjoy what you're doing and we'll catch you later